So let's start with some star jumps. We're doing 20 star jumps just to kick off with those. Here we go. Hana, do, set, neck, dancer, dancer, ilbo, yoro, hop. Get to one check in the chat, sir. Okay, and Hana, do, set, neck, dancer, dancer, ilbo, yoro, hop, go. And that was well done. So let's try to do the kick on sideways heel tackles. So tap in our hands uh, as fast as we can for 10 seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well, I'm just going to check something very, very quickly just to see because I know a couple of you have written some messages. Okay. Uh, okay, we can't hear you. Let's just check. So I am have got my microphone up so again i will speak a little bit loud if you guys as well yeah so let's try um spider-man jumps we're going to touch our toes big jump in the air as high as we can guys let's go number one touch jump yeah number two touch jump excellent guys three touch jump yeah four touch and jump that's it guys five Touch and jump. That's it. Six. Touch and jump. That's it, guys. Seven. Touch, toes, and jump. Seven. Eight. Touch, toes, jump. Lovely. Two more. Nine. Toe, touch, jump. And last one. Ten. Touch your toes. And a big jump in the air, guys. Excellent. So let's do some balanced knees. Let's do a set of ten of our up, down knees. All right, making sure we don't touch the floor. So here we go, guys. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So it's, notice that knee goes right above my belt. Yep. Side. Excuse me, side knees. So we're going to bring our knee up. See how the knee goes above the belt, up and down, just touching the knee. So here we go, then, juniors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, did you know, juniors, they are blocks to kicks? Because when someone kicks your legs, okay, the, the worst thing you can do is try and block it with your hands. My head comes down. So if someone tries to kick your leg, you block or you block. So for the front of your leg, you block with your shin. With the side of your leg, you block with your shin. And it hurts the kicker more than it hurts you. Okay, so let's do some Rolling shoulders forwards and backwards. Excellent, guys. So stretching all the way to our left. So hana, do, set, net, dasa, yasa, ilga, you to change. Hana, pull, set, net, dasa, yasa, ilga, you to crossing our arms. Juniors stretching forwards. Hana, do, set, net, dasa, yasa. You are to your right leg, Hana. Two, set, left, Dasa, Dasa, Ilga. You are to your left leg, Hana. Two, set, left, Dasa, Dasa, Ilga. Yoro, turning to the side, ninja. Judy, sorry, Hana. Two, set, left, Dasa, Dasa, Ilga. You are to swap legs, Hana. Two, set, left. Yasu, Yasu, Ilga, and Yaro. Let me just quickly, uh, sorry guys, I've just got to quickly um, mute everyone if I can. Thank you guys. Lovely. So, this time we're going to stretch to the side. So, sit back on that leg, Hannah. Two, set, net, Yasu, Yasu, Ilga. You want to change? Hannah. Two, set, net, Yasu. Yes, here we go. And then we're going to unjoin. And we're 
going to sit down on the floor, guys. Okay, we're going to lean forward. So it's an eight second stretch. The idea is to keep stretching for the whole eight seconds. So leaning forwards, grabbing your ankles, you're grabbing your feet. And stretch, one, two, set, net, lasso, lasso, build, build, up, up. Yo, we're going to bring in that right leg now. We do the same thing again. We're going to stretch forwards to grab our ankle or grab our foot. Stretch. So, one up, two, set, net, lasso, lasso, build, build, your hand reach behind you, Hana. Two, set, net. Last one, last one. Yo, let's swap our legs over, guys. We'll do the same thing. Leaning forwards, stretching, Hana. Two, set, net. Last one, last one. Il, your hand behind, Hana. Two, set, net. Last one, last one. Yo, oh. and then both legs come in, shaking our legs loose. Nose to your toes. Hana, two, set, net. That's it, that's it, feel it. Yo, and then a nice wide stretch, genius, of the legs to the side. Okay, get a good, good stretch on it, genius. Let's stretch to our right leg. So you can get both hands, grab the feet, Hana. Set, net, that's it, that's it, build it. You got it to the other side, Hannah. Two, set, net, that's it, that's it, build it. Yeah, let bring those legs back in, guys. Give them a shake. And then jump up. Excellent, guys. So let's work on circle knees. Circle knees. So again, this is a block. If someone tries to kick again on your legs, you can circle block with that movement there. So if a front kick is coming, you can just circle it out of the way with your leg. Okay, so let's work on 10 circle knees. So we go, Hana, do, set, net, yasu, yasu, yoga, yoda, aho, and yo. Okay, so circle kick, so Amis or Paku, which I mean inside to out kick. We're going to do a set of five. So if I get you to start with your right leg behind you, okay, we're going to do it in two movements today. We're going to twist and then we're going to kick. Now, the reason I've got you to twist is to turn your shoulders. And when you do your kick, you bring your shoulders back with your leg. So as the leg comes back, the shoulder comes back. Does that make sense, guys? This one. Right, so let's work on inside to out kicks. So we have our hands up, Julius. So number one, twist, kick, and then back to your stance pose. Good. Number two, twist, kick, back to your stance. Excellent. Three, twist, kick, and all the way back. Good. Four, twist, kick. That's it. Nice, guys. Five, twist, and kick. Super, let's swap our legs over to the other side now. So now we've got our left leg forwards. Same thing, we're gonna to twist to bring the shoulder, and then we're gonna throw the kick, and we're gonna bring our shoulder back with our foot. So Hana, twist, and kick. Good. Two, twist, and kick. Excellent, guys. Right. Set, twist, and kick. Set, net, twist, and kick. And one more, that's a twist and kick. Exercise and shake out those legs to finish. Okay, so let's work on two elbows today. We're gonna to do a spinning elbow and a side elbow, right? So what we're gonna do guys, from our ready stance, we hear about chunbi, we're gonna step with our right leg and we're gonna do side elbow. If I show you from the side, can you see how we elbow and we sit in horse stance. So one elbow goes out, the other elbow comes back in heights like this. Okay, so what we're going to do guys, when I say Hana, right leg's going to step, boom, and we're going to do side elbow from here. Right, Master is going to keep an eye on everyone, make sure that you're okay. But I'm going to do it slowly 
for you guys to see a bit more easily, but you guys can go as fast as you want. So right foot step, hana, side up. Excellent guys, and then back to your borrow stance. Good. Number two, side elbow. Yes, guys, and back to our stance. Excellent. Three, side elbow. Good. Back to our stance, guys. Four, side elbow. Yes, back to our stance. Last one, five, side elbow. Good, juniors. Well done. Now let's try the other foot now. So this. Left foot steps forward, the left elbow as we step side elbow. Okay, so here we go, guys. Hana, side elbow. Sitting down the big wide horse lines. And back again, guys. Good. Two, side elbow. Yes, juniors, well done. Back to our bike stance. Number three, side elbow. Good, back to our stance. Good, number four, side elbow. Sit. Back to our stance. Last one. Five. Side elbow. Perfect, guys. And then relax. So, let's do the footwork of the spinning elbow. So, if I can get you guys to stand in a horse stance this way, what you're going to do is look behind you and step round. Okay. You see how my back leg turns when I step in a circle. Right. Let's do a couple of a few moves of turning on the spot. So. From here, guys, four starts. Look over your left shoulder, hunt, turn, and have a look at your camera. Yes, and then go back to your stance again. So always looking behind you as you spin. Two, turn, and look. Yes, and then set your stance back up again. Good. Look over that shoulder, set, turn, and look. And you see as you go, we set your stance again. Look over your shoulder, net, turn, and look. Yeah, good. And one more. That's it. Turn and look. Oh, really good, guys. Now, let's add in the elbow. Can I show you guys? So from here, turn and elbow as you step. So it's going to be your left elbow. Okay, let's have a go doing that, Jimmy. So let's have that right leg forwards. Ready? Look over your back shoulder. Hunt. Turn and elbow. Turn and elbow. Yes. And then reset the stance. Well done. Okay. Two, look over your shoulder, turn and elbow, spinning elbow strike. Start the screen so just make sure it's going yeah. <clears throat> And again, set, turn and elbow, turn and elbow. Yep, reset, guys. Lovely. Master Mops is checking everyone's okay. Set, turn and elbow. Nice, guys, and reset. Last one. That's all, turn and elbow. Yes, guys, well done. Now, we're going to put the first and second elbows together now. And I'll show you guys. I'm going to start in my ready stance. I'm going to go right elbow, spinning left elbow. Okay, and we get to work a nice little routine of elbows and turning elbows. Okay, but we start in our ready stance this way. Right foot steps first, right side elbow. Hana, one. Good. Now look over your back shoulder, spin two. Yes, juniors, and step back to our ready stance. Okay, super. So remember the right leg, the right arm. Step, Hana, one. Good, so look over your back shoulder, two, spin, Up. Excellent, juniors, and then reset your stance again. We're going to do a set of five. Okay, so set, step, elbow. Good, look over your back shoulder, spin, elbow, Up. Yes, guys, I love a spin elbow. And then we set the starts again. Okay. Net, step, elbow. Look over your back shoulder, spin elbow. Yes, guys, and then reset last one. Back to our ready stance. And that's all, elbow. Look over your back shoulder, spin elbow. Very nice, guys. And borrow, good, and shut. So, do you want to grab your cushion holders or your pillow holders or pad holders? If you don't have a pad holder today, don't worry. Um, we can just kick fresh air. I've been kicking fresh air all week, okay? Because a lot of my adults don't have to. So, what I thought we would do today is work on stepping kicks. All right? So, stepping kicks are two ways you can step. The first way is to take a big step forwards, 
Okay, and that's the kick we're going to do today. All right. So if you can see my legs, I'm going to take a big step forwards. My foot is going to be turned, and then we are going to kick our pads. So if I just show you on uh, on the pad here, so there's got to be quite a lot of space between you and your cushion holder. Step back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step and then kick off my front leg. Okay, step, kick. So here, step and kick. And that's what we're going to do on our cushions. All right. So let's do it as a uh, as a, as a two point drill. We'll step first. Just check everyone's got their step and then we'll kick. So I would say for you guys. I would put your um, left foot behind, your right foot behind you. So, my apologies, your left foot behind you, because you're probably going to want to use your right leg on that. Okay? So, left foot behind you, right leg in front. That's going to be your kick. Right? It's so hard to uh, just work on the position. All right, so here we go, guys. So, here we go. Number one, step. Number two, kick. Boom. And then step back to your partner's foot. Good. Number two, step. Kick. Now, if you've got this, you can do it as two moves in one go. I'm just slowing it down for the guys that are learning. Number three, step, kick, and then back to your stance. Good. Number four, step, kick. Bring it back, guys. Good. Five, step, kick. Excellent. Okay, so. If you've got it now, which you have, I would like to swap your legs over. All right? Now, if you are working with someone, maybe a, a training partner with you in the room, give them the cushion now, you can have a go. So now, you're going to step with the other foot and kick with the other leg. Does that make sense, guys? And I'm going to do it uh, this side with Master Bob. Okay? So number six, step, kick. Give it a kick, guys. Okay? Lovely. Look, glitching. Okay. Again, number seven, step, kick, all the way back, guys. Okay, lovely. Number eight, step, kick. That's it, guys. Good. Keep going. Number nine, step, kick. And last one, guys, last one, ten, step and kick on that pad, guys. Excellent. So, this time, so I'm going to your hands up. Cushion holders, if you can hold the cushion in here for me, and then take a massive step back and pop the cushion down over here, all right? So, start the cushion here, big step back, put the cushion down over here. We're going to punch, step, and kick. Let me show you guys something over here, sir. So, from here, we punch, we step and we kick, okay? So can you see that I punch the same leg, steps, and then you throw your kick? That makes sense, guys. So we punch, step, and throw that kick out. All right, let's do it in three moves. Three moves, okay, so from here, guys. Here we go, number one, punch. Good, step, kick, Boom. Excellent, guys, and then move back and have a little bit more space. Okay, here we go. Number two, punch, step, kick, boom. All the way back, guys. Okay. Three, punch, step, kick. Excellent, juniors. Excellent job. Keep going, guys. Very nice. Number four, punch. Step, kick, step, good, keep going guys, five, punch, step, kick, that's it, how are we doing guys, really good, lovely, here we go, keep going, we're staying on the same side, so if you're training with someone, give them the cushion now, and we'll carry on, okay, six, punch, step, kick, that's it, guys. Keep going. Doing really, really well. Okay. Number seven. Punch. Step. Kick. That's it, guys. Really good. It's good. 
Good footwork, everyone. Number eight, punch, step, kick, step. Two more, two more. Nine, punch, step, kick, step. And last one, 10, punch, step, kick. Excellent, guys, well done, okay? So, cushion holders, if you pop your cushions down a second, all right, um, and then juniors, we're gonna kick fresh air and then get back on our cushions again, all right? So, from here, guys, if you can put your right leg forwards, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two moves. We're gonna go step, and then roundhouse kick, okay? So we're gonna use that left leg, all right? So it's a step roundhouse kick. So here we go, guys. Number one, step. Number two, kick. And then back to our stance again, guys. Good, step in roundhouse kick. Good. Number two, step, kick. Whoop, pop that leg out for me. Good, using that left leg. I know it's that left leg that you're using. Number three, step. Kick, pop that leg out from you. Body or chuggy or round house kick. Okay. Number four, step, kick, pop out that leg from you. Good guys. That's it. Number five. Okay. Step, kick. Yes, guys. Well done. Now let's swap our legs over. So now you're going to use your probably your better leg, your right leg. We're going to step with the left. Six, step, kick, Whoop, and pop that leg out for me. That's it, good. Here we go, seven, step, kick, pop it out, guys. Good, keep going, juniors, we're doing really well. Eight, step, kick, good. Two more, nine, step, kick, and last one. 10, step, kick, and then finish, guys, and just shake those legs out. So let's bring our cushion holders back in, all right? So we're gonna do balance roundhouse kicks today, all right? So what I want you guys to do is cushion holders, if you can hold your cushions uh, this way for me, okay? We're gonna do um, a balance and a kick. So we're gonna start sideways. I'm gonna say balance, and then we're gonna say kick and then put our foot back down, all right? So we're just gonna work on one kick for now, and then we're gonna have the ante in a minute, all right? So we're just gonna do five of each of our legs, okay? So if you turn your body sideways for me, okay? If I show you without kicking the, the shield here, knee up, and then we throw the kick out from there, yeah? So ready, guys, balance, knee up, kick, pop, and pop our foot back down, okay? So you have to be totally sideways, so your shoulder is in line with that cushion, okay? Number two, balance, kick, bump, and foot comes back down on the floor. Good, guys, excellent. Number three, balance, kick, boom, pop it right back out again, guys. Good. Number four, balance, kick, excellent, guys. Last one, five, balance, kick, Super. Now, give the cushion to your training partner if you're training together. If you're not, swap legs. Let's do five on the other side now. So again, I am got my shoulder in line with my cushion. All right. Number six, balance. Kick, pop, and pop that leg out all the way back down again, guys. So now we're using our left leg. Number seven, balance. Kick, all the way back. Flicking that leg out to hit that cushion. Okay. Number eight, balance, kick, pump. all the way back, guys. Good. Two more, get to go. Number nine, balance, kick, pump. excellent. And last one, ten, balance, kick, pump. excellent, guys. Well done. So let's play a little game with your cushion holder now. All right. So it's going to be front or roundhouse kick. That's the game. So, you're gonna move around the room. We're gonna do one minute, okay? 
The cushion's going to be down like this, which means don't kick. Okay. If the cushion comes up this way, it's a front kick. If the cushion comes up this way, it's a roundhouse kick. Okay. So if I just show you with Master Bob, right? So I'm moving around the room. I'm looking for what is the cushion going to be. So he pops it up like that. It's a front kick. And we're moving around the room. He pops it out like that. It's a roundhouse kick. All right, guys. So you don't quite know what it's going to be until your cushion holder either gives you a flat pad or a side pad. All right. And I'm going to say change at 30 seconds for the guys that are working together in maybe you're holding your cushion for each other today. All right. So let's go one minute of kicking front or round. So remember, your cushion holder is in charge. So here we go, guys. Five, four, three. Two, one, let's play. Off we go, guys. So we're moving around the room now. You might get a front kick, okay? Or if you get a roundhouse kick, remember to turn and throw that leg around. And then maybe you can swap legs if you want to, moving around, front kicks. Or maybe you can throw those roundhouse kicks out if you wish. All right, guys, keep going. You're doing really, really well. So again, it's either a side cushion or it's a front cushion. And the idea is to look at that cushion. If you don't have a cushion holder, just shadow like I am, just kicking fresh air. Okay, sometimes that is the best way to train. Okay, 30 seconds, so change with your partner if you're working together. Everyone else, keep going. You've still got 30 seconds left. Okay, of the fronts or the roundhouses, moving around the room, just working on those kicks. Okay, just imagining if you don't have a cushion that they're giving me a flat cushion or they're giving me a side cushion. Okay, five seconds left, juniors, four, Three, two, one, and time. Well done, guys. Excellent. So let's put our cushions down for a second. Let's talk about blocking today. All right, I want to teach you a new block. I might have done this with you a long time ago, but I'm, I know for some people you've never learned this one before. Sometimes when you're sparring, your hand, one arm is down because it's done something, and one arm or should be staying up. So we're going to do something called a yok chick block. So if you can, if you can um, put your left foot back and have your right leg forward, and put your hand down by your leg like this one, and your hand is sideways like this, okay? Like you're shaking hands with someone, but it's down on your leg. What I want you guys to do is this, this one. Just move it backwards and forwards like a, a pendulum, like that, okay? And that's basically the block, it's doing that. You're using your hand to push something else. So if I've got my hand here, I'm just going to go push and back, push and back. Should we have a go at doing some pushes and stepping back? So let's have one arm up, one arm down. Ready? Number one, push and back. Good. Two, push and back. Three, push. Back. Now, the other arm, notice my other arm, I put it on my shoulder like this. Okay. Four, push and back. Good. Five, push. And back. Excellent. Six. Push. And back. Yup. Shit. Seven. Push. And back. Good. Eight. Push. Back. Two more. Nine. Push. And back. The last one. Ten. Yup. Shit. Okay. Perfect. Now, how does that work? It works against a kick. So, when someone gives you a front kick, if you push their leg out of the way, their leg ends up going whoop and turning to the side which means they can't actually hit you. Okay, so I'm to show you a master block. I'm gonna have my arm up, it comes to my belly. If I don't move, I get tagged. So what I do instead is I just go whoop, and I give it a little push out of the way. Again, sir, push. We've got this side, so you can see. Okay, so again, you can see the motion, push. And again, push. So let's have a go at doing uh, 10 yok chick blocks with that cushion holder now. Now, cushion holders, I want you guys to really go for their belly. So that forces your, um, your, your junior to step back on every move, okay? So here we go, guys. Arms up, arm down. Thank you, Russell. We can go together. Ready, and number one. Push, yok, chick with the hand. Pop, out the way. Two, push. Excellent, guys. Really go for that belly now. Three, push, okay? Four, push. Excellent, juniors. Five, push it out of the way. Pop with that arm. Six, push. Now swap if you need to with your partner. Okay. Seven, 
push. Out of the way, guys. Lovely. Eight. Push. Good. Nine. Push. And ten. Push it out of the way. Lock. Shake. Lock. Okay. Now, the next block we're going to cover is the waving block or uh, Chundan Sudamachi, which is this wave. We've done this quite a lot. Okay. So, what we're going to do, rather than coming from our hip like this, because it's a long way, is just do this. So I want you to have, to have your hands up like stop, all right? And Master Bob's going to swing this pad at my head, all right? And when he swings it at my head, I'm going to stop it by putting my arm in the way. I'm it, sir. So big swing, sir, stop. All right, again, we're going to go from my head. Stop, that's it, stop. So what we're doing, guys, is we're doing this, stop, or stop. So that way, with the hands. So that we're going to do 10 wave blocks. So again, the hands that are not down, the hands are up, and we wave, and we put our arm all the way back, all right? So here we go, guys. Number one, wave, okay? So cushion holders, make it a big motion, like someone's really winding up a punch, yeah? Okay, number two, wave, that's it. Good, three, wave, okay? Good, four, wave. That's it, guys. Lovely. Five, wave. Okay, so you've got to be fairly close for this, for this move. Okay, Christian, I just can't be too far away. Six, wave. That's it. So again, if you need to swap with your partner now, maybe you're working together. Okay. Seven, wave. Put that arm in the way. Doesn't matter which one it is. As long as it goes out, that's fine. Seven, wave. That's it. Hit your forearm. Eight, wave. Good. Nine, wave, and 10, wave. Lovely guys, well done. Now, let's have a go at uh, our cushion holder giving us some blocks. So, surf up the boy. They're gonna do two things, cushion holders, if you don't mind doing this for me, all right? I want you to push and I want you to swing like this, okay? So push it and swing it like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, sort of push first. Yeah, we're gonna yok shake and then swing it, uh, so, and then block it. All right, one, two. Can you see why that hand is up on our shoulder? So we can wave for that second move. Yeah. So Master Bob's gonna go one and then two. See how that arm is gonna protect me from getting clonked around the head. If that makes sense, guys. Yeah. So let's have a go at. Um, Yokshik and wave. Here we go then. Ready? Number one, Yokshik, wave. That's it, guys. Really good. So one arm is down for the low block, one arm is up for the middle block. Okay? Number two, Yokshik, wave. You see how my hands come up a bit like Chundan Sudo Maki. Okay? Number three, block, wave block. Good guys, okay? This is a really good. Number four, wave and block. Protect that head. Okay, good guys. Number five, yok shit block, wave and pretend. That's it guys, good. Swap with your partner if you need to, if you are sharing a pad today or a cushion. Okay, we're gonna carry on guys. Number six, yok shit, wave block. This way guys, lovely. Good. Seven. Yok shake, wave block. That's it, guys. Good. Number eight. Yok shake, wave. This way, guys. Lovely. That's it. Eight. Block and wave block. That's it. Yeah. Number nine. Block it, wave it. Block, wave. This way. And last one. Ten. Block it, wave it. Perfect, guys. And that's why you have one arm up and one arm down. Okay? Because so, sometimes if they block the leg, they'll swing the arm in this way. Whoop, or they'll throw a back fist in the, in the throat. So let's have a go at touch sparring. Okay? So, so, I'm going to cushion. so cushion holders, I'm going to give you a minute to try and tag your junior as many times as you can. So you can throw this move or this move. All right? Up to you. Now, Generally, surf up the body. If I've got my hands up like this, okay, like here, sir, 
push it down, right? But if you have your hand down, okay, you can go this way. I'm gonna leave it up to your cushion hold. For one minute, so get your belly as many times as you can. All right, so after 30 seconds, I'm gonna shout change if you're working with someone, so you can give them the cushion and then you can carry on. So ready, juniors? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, guys, let's try to get So if you get tagged, do a bow, okay, then you're back in the game. So remember, blocking this way, or blocking this way, it's up to your cushion holder. So moving around your room, again, you can cross block it, and then you can pat it down, depending on what, what, whether the cushion is this way or whether the cushion is this way. But both blocking front kicks, all right? You're doing really well, juniors. You've already done 25 seconds. Has anyone done a bow yet? Okay, <laughs> lovely. Okay, change it over if you're working together. That's 30 seconds down. You've got 30 seconds left, guys. Keep putting pressure on those juniors, cushion holders, making them work for those blocks. All right, you, you know, we don't give anything away for free in this class. You have to work for it. Okay, blocking all the way down, guys. Keep going. You're doing really, really well. All right, really, really well. Okay, five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one, and time. Well done, guys. Okay, so our last sparring drill. Okay, I'll help you your cushion, sir. Is I would like the cushion holders to either go that way or this way. All right, it's up to your cushion holder. So remember, when that cushion comes around, all right, you can put your you go, yes, sir. you can put your arm in the way and you can stop it with your arm. So this time you can have both hands up, all right, come down or go out, or come down with one arm, go out with the other one. Or maybe go down with one arm and out with the other one. Okay, it's going to depend on which side your cushion is flying. All right, so one minute, cushion holders, here or here. All right, guys, ready? Three, two, one, off you go, guys. So are you going to go low or are you going to do a middle block? As long as you have your hands up in this stop position, this is a really good position for staying safe. Okay, body language says stop. It's a position of strength because you can block. Doing really well, guys. You are 20 seconds down, guys. Keep going. Right? So, again, hands up nice and high. Not too low, not too high. Kind of in line with your chin. Okay? And change over if you're working with someone. You're doing really well, guys. Keep putting pressure on those ninjas and juniors. Okay? That's it, guys. And move. So, on your toes, moving this way or this way. Just protecting your head. Okay, really good, guys. 20 seconds left. Bit more pressure now, guys. Keep going. You're doing ever so well. Master probably scrolling through the screens. I can see you guys working hard. Okay. Really, really good, guys. Keep going. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and time. Well done, guys. Perfect. Thank you very much, cushion holders. You've been really, as usual, been amazing today. Thank you for your help. So, juniors, let's finish our class with a little bit of conditioning today, all right? So I thought we'd start with some elbow squats and then some V-sits, okay? V-sits are great for your tummy, elbow squats are great for your legs, all right? So I was saying to the ninjas, people that use gyms to get strong legs have a bar across their back and they have their arms up with weight plates on and they squat up and down. Now, you guys can't do that yet because you need to be kind of 14 or 15 to use weights, right? So we're gonna create our own weight by using our arms to drive down. And that's gonna make our legs work that little bit harder, right? So if we just squat up and down, that helps, but driving your arm down makes it a faster movement. And that's really what you want, okay? So let's do a set of uh, 10 elbow squats. So arm above our head, ready, number one. Down and back up again. Swap in sides. Two, down and back up. Three, down and back up. Good. Four, down and back up. Excellent, guys. Five, down and back up. Good. Six, down and back up. Lovely. Seven, down and back up. Eight, down and back up. Two more. Nine, down. Up, last one, 10, boom, and 
Yeah. Okay, guys, I want you to sit on the floor this time. All right, grab V sits. Okay, so V sit looks like this. You have your legs in a V and we're going to cross our arms like that. Okay, and we're going to hold our V sit for 20 seconds. Okay, so we've got to try and keep our foot off the floor or our feet off the floor for the whole 20 seconds now. Try not to cheat by grabbing your legs or leaning back right so far back that there's no pressure. It's just your bottom that's on the floor, all right? Everything else has to work super hard um, to uh, give you a strong back and tummy. So let's cross up arms. 20 seconds, legs up, and here we go. Now we did this in class once, and we did it for a minute, and a lot of you ninja, or juniors, sorry, uh, managed that whole minute. So I know you've got really, really strong abs, so it's 10 seconds down already, okay? 15 seconds. Okay, keep going, guys. And down. Well done, guys. And jump up for me. Good. Really, really good. Okay, so let's do a little stretch before we finish. So let's put our arm across our body. We're going to grab onto our forearm. It's a stretch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll put it behind our head. Stretch it down this way. One, two. Six, and then change sides to the other one. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the last one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, well done today, juniors. Really, really good class. Okay, so we come to attention. Wow. Well done, guys. Good class today, everyone. Very, very good.